Hi everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. Uh, I just want to share um, a little bit of shopping that I did yesterday in a very interesting story as I was shopping. I went to um, Joann's first because I've been looking for this um, Spellbinders tool um, for my new, especially for my new die that I have, the new um, Prima um, doily die. This will get all, all those little, so I don't have to poke them out with my, my pokey tool. So very excited about this and more excited that it was on sale for $8.99 and I gave them the 25% off coupon from um, your total purchase from Michaels and they accepted it. So it was $6.74. So that was really cool. Then I went to Michaels and I had to go to the next town over because the Joann's nearest to me didn't have any of those and so I went over there excuse me and I did all my shopping oh, shopping there so I got these at Michael's for my Christmas tree because I'm doing something different they were $4.99 on sale 50% off and then I got an extra 25% off and I got two packages of those so that was really good I got another package of these and then I got a whole bunch more of the um, the letters which were 19 cents a piece and this was 79 cents. So uh, after I went to Joann's and Michael's, I went over to Target, which is like right next door. And um, so I was hoping I could find some. I'm making all, um, configuration boxes for several people for Christmas. And I'll show you the one I'm working on. But um, I needed some Christmas stuff for a Christmas one. And I thought maybe, because I hadn't seen anything that I liked at Michael's, so I thought maybe Target might have some little miniatures or whatever. So I was in there, and um, I'm, I had shopped at um, Joann's. I actually went to Goodwill. I couldn't find anything at the Goodwill there. And then Michael's, and I was really, really tired and in a lot of pain, so I had to use a little cart. So I'm in the cart in Target, and I'm beep bopping along. And this woman is just looking at me. <laughs> and I'm looking back at her and I'm like, mm, okay, trying to picture the f place to face, you know? Like, you obviously think you know me and I'm, I can't see. I don't know who you are. She said, you're Scrap Lady 530. I'm like, yeah. She goes, oh my gosh. She's one of my subscribers, Rebecca Bliss. Hi, Rebecca. Um, I was so surprised. She said, I can't believe it. Of all the places, I meet you in Target. And um, it wasn't even, it was where she lives, but not even where I live. And um, she said that she had been to my Michaels the day before. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've been there before. And I was just at Michaels before that, and she was too. So it was funny. Um. I'm sorry. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Um, so we chatted for a while. It was very nice chatting with her. She's awesome. So um, hopefully we can get together sometime and, and hang out or do some shopping or something. Um, so again, hi, Rebecca. Thanks so much for being a subscriber. And I was really excited to meet you. So anyways, then after that, I went to the dollar store because they too sometimes have stuff um, and ended up getting this really cute um, tape and it's butterflies and then I got this one with a pretty decorative color. Then I saw these napkins and I said OMG my Christmas cards. I am going to decoupage napkins on my Christmas cards. What fun! So it's going to make my Christmas cards be really, really easy. And I'm so excited because it's going to be so much fun. So that's what I'm doing for my Christmas cards this year. And these were each 20 napkins, so 40. I'll probably might have to get some more. But anyways, it's a start. Um, so um, that was a relief to say, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's going to look so cute. So um, oh, I'm really sorry. So tired. It's up really early today. I don't know why I just couldn't sleep. I should go back to bed. But, anyways, so I am making configuration boxes for several people. I have to make eight or nine of them. Um, 
it's, I started with um, my friend Cindy, who we Skype together. We decided to do like a challenge for December, and the challenge was to make a Christmas configuration box. I had never made one, and she's made several. So I went and got some at um, Joann's, and then I actually ordered some more online, which I should be getting very soon. So um, I have to make them for several people, and this one is for um, my aunt who um, loves to sew and craft. So I started it and um, I covered it all. I used the My Mind's Eye um, Lost and Found Sunshine paper pad because it has the sewing machine on it and the papers are really, really pretty. So. Um, this is what the box looks like closed, you know, with the cover on it. I haven't put the plastic part on yet. I'll put that on later. Um, and then I went around it with, this was tape, um, not tape, but ribbon that I got at Joann's for 25 cents. So put the ribbon on and I painted the box. Um, I mixed some colors together. It's kind of a nice goldish color. And then um, I had put the washi tape around. Um, I actually ended up putting two layers because the first layer seemed a little bit, um, you could really see the indents and it wasn't really flat like it liked it to be. So I did the, the washi tape again and second layer all the way over the top. And I like it better. So. I am going to start adding things. This box right here, the, the paper was blue, and then I just took one of my new doilies, which I cut out a ton of right here, all different colors. I cut out all these doilies, a whole bunch, I have a whole bunch more. And I saw this color and I said, oh my gosh, that's going to be perfect because the paper is blue and it's almost that same yellowish gold color. So I put that in there, and then I'm just going to get little trinkets and little things. I'm going to make um, um, something that resembles um, spools of thread. Well, I'm going to get some little spools. I'm going to look through my spools. I probably have some little ones that I'll use. And then I'm going to um, do something that resembles bolts of fabric. So I'll get some little pieces of fabric and put them around. And then I'll get like a little sewing machine, and I have some really pretty lace that I'm going to add to it. Um, so that's for her. And then I'm making one that has um, vintage Santas in it. And I have this really cool paper. Um, and I'm going to do this paper with that. Um, and. Um, this one, maybe I can get the bird in one of the boxes, but the back is really nice. And then, um, this is really, I can get something out of that, too. Um, that's the back. And then this, this one, I should be able to hopefully fit in one of the longer boxes. The back is really cute. And then... This one and that. So I'll use parts of, you know, whatever I can use from from each paper. Plaid, which is really, really cool for vintage. -y. And then uh, this one. So anyways, these are the papers I'm using for the next box that I'm making. And then um, I just have to find some. I bought some. I bought some really cute Santas and stuff at the... Um, Goodwill, but they're all too big, but they're really cute. It's not really vintage, but it's really, it's a little bit vintage. This one fits. It sticks out, but it fits, so I probably will use this one. Um, and, but this one's too big, but it's cute. So I'll probably just give them all the Santas that I bought that, that don't, you know, fit. This one I kind of wanted to see if I could sit it somehow on the top. I'm not sure that I can, but I might try uh, to figure out how I can do that. And then I got this one, and this one doesn't fit either. 
So, let's see. Uh, well, well, it'll fit in the big box, you know, the big square one, but that's about all. Then I bought these cork things for my daughters. They were just too cute to pass up. Um, this one just says Merry Christmas. I keep forgetting where the camera is. So you open up a wine bottle and then you can put the cork in. Tis the season to be tipsy. So I got that. And then I did get this one for him too. Um, because he collects. So this is a nice glass one. These are only a dollar a piece. And then I just thought these were the cutest things ever. I got this one in green and gold. I don't know. I just was drawn by this little Christmas tree. <laughs> so anyways, so I don't know what I'll use that for. So that one's going to be the vintage Santas, and um, I have to find more, which I can probably find with the, the village stuff, you know, where they sell, like, little villages and stuff like that. So um, I'll look through that, and um, then I have to make a Scooby-Doo one for my daughter's boyfriend because he loves Scooby-Doo. Uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'll probably just try to find, maybe I'll just use, like, Scooby-Doo wrapping paper or something like that. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to find any Scooby-Doo miniatures, but I'll try to find some. And then I have to make another one that will be like with Harley motorcycles and um, other stuff like that for my other daughter's boyfriend. And then um, for my daughters, I'm making them Christmas themed and I'm making mine Christmas themed. So I have... Um, four, six, seven to make actually, seven of them all together. So, um, but I, there's so much fun to make. There's so much fun. So anyways, that's what I've been doing and, um, I'll be making a lot more and then decoupaging my Christmas cards, which I'm so excited. It's going to be so easy and they're going to look so cute. So I'll show you a picture of those when I'm done with those. So I guess that's it for today, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.